right, man, we record. Man, I couldn't wait to do this interview, bro. Like, I really fuck with your shit, man. Like, man, I'm already known, bro. I appreciate that shit so much. Bro, your shit so fire. I be sitting back listening, and I'm like, I never seen shit like this come from where I'm from, bro. Like, I literally got, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got nine sheets of paper. With questions on them, bro, because your shit just so fire, bro. I'm you like, hear me out? I'm like oh, this thing gonna have hella questions for bro. me. I damn there wanted to ask you, like, what you, what you gonna ask me? Bro, no, I got nine sheets of paper in front of me, bro. All right, so my first question is, your name? You put the one instead of the I, like, like, what was the reason behind that? Just to be easier to Google. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I was getting tired of seeing like Xavier Wolf and sh- like different like different artists who got like the similar the similar name. I know, I know nobody has that that same exact name, but the one just makes it to where that's the only thing that pops up. You feel me? Yeah, I, uh, I saw one under your real name, even like first and last name, and it made me think. Yeah, about, see, that was probably a mistake made by Jake or something. I don't know. That made me think about all the rappers that go by their real names, like Cole and Kendrick and Wale and Tupac, and like you fit right. that 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 lane though, you know, as far as like that that real rap shit, like you fit right. that like Cole and Kendrick lane, and I'm like, I wanted, I always wondered, is that why you went with that versus like a nickname or an alias? Uh, I think so. I, I'm gonna say I don't really know to be honest, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say yeah. I, I feel like. I feel like I, I don't, you know, I don't want to pop out as like somebody else. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'd rather just keep my identity. So, like, who your favorite rappers, bro? Because when I listen to you, I be thinking of so many different rappers you remind me of. And like, I was watching this one interview, and Schoolboy Q was like, I rarely listen to like lyrical rap, even though I'm a lyrical rapper. And mm-hmm. that blew my mind because he was like, Yeah, I listen to like the mumble rap, and I'm like. I never knew rappers who could really rap listen to that type of shit. I thought they listened to, like, shit that they sound like. Right. Yeah, see, I'm, you know, I'm tapped in with, with a lot of, you know, a lot of the same shit as everybody else. You know, the Drake, the J. Cole, you know, that climb back, that shit was nice. Climb back. Um, but, like, really, like, if you're around me every day, I'm listening to Rio. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Like, I, 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 you know, I'm. I got so much support for like this city, so it's like I've been lately. I've just been listening to Flint music. I don't care who you are. <laughs> yeah, me too. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. So like, you don't really be on social media like that. Is it a reason? Uh, no. I feel like I feel like that's something I, I need to correct. Honestly, um, you know, it's 2020. Social media is part of our world. You feel me? The reason why I brought it up is because like. Like I said, not to keep repeating, but I put you in that lane of like Cole and Kendrick, and they barely use it. And I was thinking, like, I wonder if that's just how y'all are. Y'all just would rather just rap y'all shit instead of saying it. Yeah, I think the records make make bigger statements than you know, actually like tweeting some shit or you know, yeah, whatever. I, I definitely agree because like tweets can be taken, like exactly. Boy. Uh, you had a song, and the cover had Obama on it. What made you pick that? Uh, I just thought of like, I mean, uh, best plan. I mean, I just kind of felt like Obama. He came in with that Obamacare. Like that was like that was that was a good ass plan, like for our country at the time. Yeah. And I just felt like it kind of relates to me having the best plan of like getting rich. Yeah, I feel you on that. And there was a girl that voice was uh, in the beginning or in the beat. Was that a sample? I think so. I think that was just uh, something that, that the producer used. Man, that shit was fire. I always feel like you sound good when you got sample beats. Like, when you put samples. I love samples. Bro, love samples. man, that should take me back to being, like, seven in the 90s, bro. And just nah. samples is the shit, bro. Uh, why was Cheers so short? Like four songs ain't uh, shit, man. Honestly, there was there was there was two joints that I didn't put on there. Um, yeah. They're both on energy beats, actually, and so I didn't really feel like they fit. Fit, yeah. Yeah, yeah I could tell they wouldn't have fit because 
she has sounded way different than anything energy ever did. So that makes sense. Right. Where are you going to put them? Uh, honestly, they might get dropped as singles, as videos. Um, I'm working on that right now with Jake. But uh, I'm not sure yet. There was a song on there. Actually, actually there was another song with my boy. Uh, shout out to my boy Pee Wee. Um, it's called Something Simple, and we were supposed to put that joint on there, but he was trying to drop it as a single, and then I had to cover as, like, some Nike shoes, and you can't do that, so they denied it. And so we're waiting on that. That's that's probably going to come out next. You had a sample on for y'all. That sample was fire, too. Like, fire. I, I like that for y'all. I, can, I honestly don't know what my favorite song by you is, but for y'all, it stuck, stuck out. Mm-hmm. It's real Kanye-ish. Yeah. The, the, the beat is. Yeah, you right. Yeah, it really was. Now, you be spitting a lot of, like, basketball bars, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't hear too much of that. That's, like, that's I my love group, man. That's, uh, that's my shit. You feel me? It's going to always correlate with me. Basketball and rap, you know. I respect They go hand-in-hand hand down there. I respect that. So, you used... Auto tune on from the mud. Did you like it? Cause you don't really strike me as an auto tune person. When I heard it, I was shocked. I honestly never got to listen to my verse without the auto tune. So like when I did it and he played it back, I was like, I fuck with it, you know. Yeah. But I kind of wish I would have went back and, and listened to how it sounded without it. You think you know? like? Do you think you can hit some notes without auto tune, or you just a couple of them? It, yeah, you know, it's sorry. it's a process. It's a uh, it's a delicate process because you you know not everybody can hit every note. You right. know, some people like me, I can probably only hit like three or four notes. You feel me? So I gotta shape that around how I, how I'm writing. I think people will fuck with it though because you know Cole can't really hit notes, but the notes he can hit, people will, like be Facts. singing along to it. Exactly. So you live in Chicago right now? No, I'm actually I'm I'm back I'm back in Flint. So I saw some of the videos. The location said Chicago. How was that? Like uh, I, I spent a lot of time in Chicago. I, li- I lived there last year uh, yeah. for about almost a year. Um, but like over the past two three years, I've been going out there like every other month, damn there. And whether it's just to shoot a video or just just be in the city, I just I love Chicago. I've never been to Chicago, but I always wanted to go. Cause it looks nice. Look at it downtown. They downtown look nice. Hell yeah. And it's it's three hours away. You can't beat it, you know? Yeah. Like the closest, like, big city we have to us. It really is. Now, on one song, I forgot what it was, which song it was, but you said you don't do it for the clout. And I honestly can say I've never seen you do anything for anything. I barely see you on social media. Like, like you be so low-key. And then you will pop up and just comment on something that I post. And I'm like, dang, I didn't know he was online. Because, like, I rarely <laughs> see you. And it's like, I respect that you just put the music out and just let the crowd speak rather than, like, hey, here's something to grab your attention. Like, some saying some crazy shit or doing some crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, no, I feel that. I, like I said, I try to just let the records speak for themselves. You know, um, any type of... Uh, input input that like I get back from the record is from the record and that's it you know it's not from anything that that I'm saying or anything like that so on fictional writers you mentioned Pop and Biggie Jay Z Kendrick Cole and yeah those your favorites M I ain't put M in there but M is 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 at the top man the older I get the less I put M in my top because a lot of the times he just says stuff now like I feel like in the beginning he actually had something to say versus now he just says things that just rhyme and it ain't the same for me yeah see M is I think I think Eminem really will make any artist put themselves in his shoes like what would you do 20 years from now would you still keep rapping or would you you feel me or would you kind of like take a step back and I feel like I, I feel like I'd be doing this. I'd be on the same shit as them. You know what I mean? Like my pen ain't gonna stop moving. <laughs> and I always tell people, in my personal opinion, Jay Z got better to me as he got older. 
versus like most people they get worse or not as good as they used to be I feel like Jay-Z got better like I love 444 album compared to like all the other albums people might love like Blueprint or Blueprint yeah. 3 and stuff cause it just sounded so mature it's the relevance Jay-Z Jay-Z he, he's he'll have four or five records on, on an album that are just as relevant you know from 20 years ago you feel me that's how I feel about pop too yeah, like, pop music can still hit right now. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. When I first saw the fictional writers, I, I thought the song was gonna be just a strictly dissing, not saying no names, but just dissing people who lie in their raps. Because that's just the vibe that I got from the title. I'm thinking like, oh, he probably gonna go in on people who rap about shooting and never did it, <laughs> like stuff like that. Yeah, I have made it. I don't know. Back then, I was kind of sloppy with it. But I, I had made it like two separate tracks. Um, one of them was called uh, "Fictional Writers," and then the other one was called "Big Baller." Yeah. But like in the video, I I put the "Big Baller" verse in the video, but it's not on the audio. Like if you go on Apple Music, yeah. I was just trying to do something creative, do like a two part single. That's definitely creative. I actually never heard nobody do that before. You don't make party music. Like, is it a reason why? Do you not party or you just don't want to be known? Uh, I, I really don't party, but, um... You don't really shark I'm, me I'm cruising in that lane. You know, I'm I'm cruising in that lane for real. As I told you, I, I got a couple couple uh, energy joints coming. Yeah, I'm curious to know what that's going to sound like. I know you're going to, like, say some, some shit that's never been said on some energy type beats. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to give them something. Hit him from the side. You rapped a, a few times about liquor and weed. You smoke and drink? Uh, I don't drink. Nah. Oh, okay. I like to play around with that. You feel me? But, uh, nah, I, I don't drink. You smoke? Yeah, I yeah. smoke a lot of weed. You kind of seem like a, a real chill, like, smoker type. So Yeah, man. Backwoods all day. I don't see how y'all do them, man. I never smoked a backwood in my life, but everybody I know who smoked them around me, I like, man, they so harsh. And they just hit so hard. I, I haven't smoked in years, but when I smoked, I was a cigarette on papers type of dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what's Free Life? That's a label or a group? Free Life? Yeah. Um, it's, basi- it's basically uh, a group faction I don't, I don't know what you want to call it um but it's me and my boy young humble yeah you feel me and we just uh we just kind of try to <clears throat> try to promote like living freely i guess i guess you know it, it's pretty self-explanatory but like not necessarily following like um guidelines i guess you could say like generational guidelines cultural guidelines just kind of like doing your own thing yeah, that's what I thought it was, but I always think something, and then I don't always have, like, full input, uh, full, like, thought of what I was thinking, so I just wanted to make sure, but that's the vibe that I got from it. So, like, that's going to be the label, like, he's going to get an LLC eventually? Yeah, that's, that's going to be it. Yeah, we that's, ain't bullshitting. We, uh, <laughs> I'm, wait, I'm actually waiting on, on Seth to get back from California, and we're going to get that taken care of. And my next question is funny that you said it was about Young Humble, man. Y'all kind of like, it's like, it's like a, it's like, it goes together perfectly. Like, you and him. As yeah. far as like, he a little more melodic than you. So it's mm-hmm. almost like The weekend and like Cole or like Drake and Cole. That's Facts, like yeah. We got, around. we got good chemistry in the studio. I think it's because every time I'm recording, he's there and then vice versa. So, we always can roll off, roll off each other's punches. Y'all got a, a collaboration coming soon, like an album or something. Yeah, we got we got like six or seven in the vault. Oh, that's the that, EP right there. Yeah, but um, sometimes we go in there and we just throw shit down. You know, not all of them are really like on point. You know, drop worthy, but like, yeah, <laughs> we gonna keep at it. So you did one vlog, but I noticed you don't do them a lot. Do you not like cameras in studio? Because I feel like you should vlog more. No, I feel like um, I haven't 
well, really, honestly, I've been going to the studio alone lately. That's that's more so what it is, but um, trying to find the time for Jake, you feel me, to come to the studio with me. And then I feel like that first vlog wasn't even a vlog, so, like, the next one that we do is going to have a lot more dialogue in it. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for, because it's like, you didn't even talk in there. And, like, no, I it, was just, it was just kind of like, it really wasn't even a vlog, damn near, but... It was just kind of like something we put together when I first got back. Yeah. Speaking of Jay, that was next on my list of questions. Like, that's the only person you plan on working with? No, nah, no. Nah. My boy, uh, my boy Ray Bond, me and him going to end up doing some shit. Jared, that's my dog. Um, right now, me and Jake locked in. We, we trying to. We trying to get that one together. Jake give me like cinematic vibes, like it's almost like watching The Godfather as far as like how he film and then like the camera angles and the filters he used. It's like watching a movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's getting he's getting better every day and 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 like I said, we got other people in the city too that's kind of like setting setting the tone in a way for that that's just gonna push him to go harder, you know. So you uh who's November the producer? Like tell me about working with him. Cause I saw him show up on your work. Honestly, he's one of my favorites. I've never met. I've never met him. Um, I I kind of like got got in contact with him through email, yeah. like on his website. And uh, but I mean, he's you know he's a professional. He's a professional <laughs> guy. Um, I I do plan on dropping some more shit with him. Yeah, I like his style. Like, his name, like, caught my attention because, like, I've never heard nobody use a month as their name. Yes, it's and, dope. Yeah. yeah it I, I fucked with it. Tired, bro. So, when you're in the studio, what's, what is it, like, your needs? Like, do you need, like, water, weed, food, what kind of foods and stuff? Cause I, I've seen uh, people say some crazy stuff, like, oh, I need all green M&Ms. And <laughs> nah, pretty much. I mean, I, not really. Some water, you know. Yeah. And in the vlog that you did, the lights was like damn near off. You don't really fuck with the lights. That's just how BC's uh, spot is. To be honest, it's it's real dim in there. Uh, but when we get back in there and we start getting some dialogue, I'm out. I'm out and turn the light off. Yeah. <laughs> like the vibe it gave me. It gave me like a like I don't know. It kind of felt like you was creating something for like the ladies during that time period. Cause right. I, like I think it was like a candle lit, and it was just like real dim. And I thought you was gonna come out with a love song from that session. You don't make love songs or nothing. Um, I got a couple of them. You ever been in love? Cause I know it could probably be hard to talk about something you ain't never been through. I have, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's something that uh, I think we all end up going through. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Love, heartbreak, all that, you know. Yeah, and I know when you talk about it, you're going to articulate it so well. It's going to, I know that's going to be a crazy song. I'm trying, man. I like how you don't really glorify the negativity that come out the city. You might, like, talk about it, but you don't glorify it. I really respect that. Appreciate that. Yeah, you I'm like, a... you're showing a different light of the city. Because some people, they might be scared because of what's going on, which I can understand. But, like, you show them that it's like, hey, it's more than just dangerous shit. And like, even when you film your videos, you don't even film them in, like, dangerous settings. Like, you go downtown and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, uh, I just, I try to keep it positive. I mean, um, not, not throwing shade at people that are, like, talking about the negative stuff going on because that's the reality too you know yeah that's definitely a reality and like the way you talk about the negative stuff you don't say it like you're just proud of it going on because like some people like take pride in like yeah my city is tough don't come here versus you you just like this is what it is and I yeah that, I, that's how i generally generally feel man i feel like one day like my my one of my goals is one day to have flint be like a a place where we can have a big venue, you know what I mean? Where we can have people fly in from all different states and you feel me? And have a venue big enough to fit fifteen, twenty thousand people in. 
Yeah, I would love for that too. You had a song called Rapping for like four minutes, but the song wasn't even four minutes. <laughs> I was listening. I, I I didn't even notice that it wasn't four minutes until it went off. I was like, that's like three minutes and some change. So I could see the like four minutes, even though it wasn't. Yeah, I honestly um. I uh I have I recorded that with my boy Ben Aran, yeah. and um, I didn't even give him a, a title or nothing. You know, you know that's a Wu Tang beat, so I just kind of gave him the beat, and I went in there and I and I spit my verse, and he didn't ask me for a title, so he just put Xavier rapping for like four minutes. <laughs> that was a funny title because I'm like, this song is not even four minutes, but like, I didn't even know that was a Wu Tang beat, bro. At least I don't think I. Yeah, I don't remember it being a Wu Tang beat because I would have probably wrote it down. In my it's called uh, it's called Triumph. So you grew, you you like grew up listening to Wu Tang, or you just like that beat? Nah, honestly, they uh, a little bit of both. Not yeah. necessarily. I wasn't necessarily raised on the Wu Tang. This song I kind of had to dive into myself. Yeah, me too. But uh, that whole their whole their whole selection is just nasty. Like every beat they've used. Yeah, I can totally agree. On um, rapping for like four minutes, you blanked out a word at twelve seconds. What word was blanked out? Uh, I can't I think remember I, I what you said. Something about I was saying something about niggas selling something, and I really didn't want to generalize it. I didn't want to say weed and get my weed man mad. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I ain't want to say no other shit and it'd be like, you know, yeah. them, them like relate that drug with me. You know, so I just kind of beeped it out. Yeah, because I'm thinking like, he don't cuss or he don't like talk about drugs. But then like the rest of you was cussing and I was like, okay, well he cussed, but like, I wonder what did he blanked out? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and and uh, fictional writers, you said you only want a hundred grand? Or was that just... Some shit you say because it rhymes. That was kind of like I mean, that was kind of like give me a hundred grand and, and that's it. You know what I mean? Like we, we can go we can go from there. Like I feel like once an artist gets to a point where they got a hundred thousand dollars, it's it's only up from there. You know? Yeah. You have about, at least if you, if you made a hundred thousand from music. Yeah. You have about not using guns, so you don't like own any for your protection. Uh, I don't. Um, that's crazy. Man. That's not. That's something that's that that that's gonna change. Um, but Especially with more of a fan, you getting? I grew up. You know, you you throw the ones, or you know, or you you go home. Man, I'm telling you, that's how it should should still be. Like, that's how. That's yeah. what I respect. I only respect shooting when it's like your life is in danger, like you're about to die. Right. Yeah. You uh you read the dictionary? Because you rap like you do. Uh no, not really. Sometimes I like think of a word and I'm like, is that a word? And then I'll go make sure it is yeah. and like use it. But I I don't necessarily like go scrolling through the I guess dictionary. It's so much like mediocre music now when I hear shit like yours, it's like like it's just a whole different some people just sound like they just go in there and just create something and then it's like off luck versus you it's like a real talent and it's almost like this is your life that's how that's how good the talent is it's like I can tell you blessed with talent but it's also you rap as if you study like what you're saying and that's why I wondered did you read the dictionary because I remember T.I. said he know all the big words from going to prison and reading the dictionary yeah yeah I uh, I used to grab it here and there when I was a kid. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I, I fuck with the dictionary. It helped me write. I like writing. I don't really. I write like ideas and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I got the dictionary app on my phone. That's how much I fuck with <laughs> like trying to learn new words and shit. So you work a minimum wage job, or you did at one point in time? Because I think you said that in the song. Um, yeah, uh, I just stopped recently doing, doing pest control. Um, that's what I was doing out in Illinois. But, um, right now I'm just getting that unemployment, man. <laughs> and you did the pest control to, to fund your career or it was just 
like all kinds. Of it stuff. was it was all it was it was a combination. You know, it was what really uh, had me out in Chicago yeah. in the first place, and then you know it was good money, so I kept at it. I can definitely respect that. Uh, do you feel like the underdog? Cause you say that in the song. I really feel like you underdog because don't nobody even talk for sure. About you. For sure, I'm not necessarily making the type of music that turns heads right now, yeah. you know. But um, I, I I feel I feel like an underdog in a sense. I definitely feel like you underdog because it's like when people right now the type of music that's relevant don't sound like you. But I feel like people should bring you up when they talking about people who can actually rap. Because you don't get brought up, but I also feel like you so low key that people might not even think about it. Cause like we got like Buck Hollinsworth who can rap, and we got Ro who can rap, but then we got you and people don't even like acknowledge that. And I'm like, y'all forgot about X. Like this, like this nigga's <laughs> fire, bro. Yeah, it's just the, it's the content, man. It's. You know, people want to hear. You know, people want to hear about domestic violence. People want to hear about pills and 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 guns and, and shit. Which I get it. You know, like I said, I love that shit. You know, I, I wake up every day and listen to the shit that people in the city put out. Yeah. And one song you said you need twenty thousand for your notebook of rap. So you still want twenty thousand, or you feel like it's worth more now? I feel like it's for more now. <laughs> so on the end of the song, I said 30000 Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I wrote that down. I, and then I wrote down by the end of it, you said 30000 I was I was talking shit. Uh, I, don't, I lost my notebook like twice. So, honestly, my notebook right now is not worth $20,000. <laughs> how did that feel? I know that had hurt. That would hurt me. That's hurting me oh, right now. Because I can just up. imagine what's in there. It's fucked up. Because it's like, damn. You know, like, I sometimes I'll be trying to spit some shit that I remember, but I don't remember all of it, you know? Yeah. You still got a Crown Vic? No, no, I never had a Crown Vic. So, I was talking about, like, a cop car. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> bro, I thought that car was about, like, one of yours. No, no, the Crown Vic, the, the, the cop car. Oh, okay. And you said in the song your mom was sick? You said what? You said in the song that your mom was sick? Uh Uh-uh. I thought you said something about a crown big and mom sick. And whatever song you said. said I mean, if if I said that, it was probably literal. Oh. Like, like I'm sick about it. You know what I mean? Like, like that. I see. Um. Oh, it was because uh, I had got pulled over, and uh, I got my car impounded. Yeah, and it was my mom. It was my mom's birthday, and she she was sick about it because oh, it was like I see. it was real late at night, and it was like you know how midnight passes over, and then it, you know right. it was her birthday, and I had to call her like, hey, you gotta come pick me up. I see. Yeah, see, your music is like I can interpret it different ways. Cause I'm thinking like literally sick, not like the slang term <laughs> sick, because your right. music so deep. It's like, I didn't even think of it in that way. Um, you have to about having your third eye open. What does that mean to you? My my third what? Third eye open. Uh, I just in, in my in my personal opinion, I feel like it's uh just being aware of of um people who are genuine. Yeah. You know, like that they're for your best interest not necessarily there when you're only at your high moments or, or only at your low moments, but consistently. You got a song called Notebook, and it cut off, it's two. It's three minutes and 23 seconds, but it cut off like you're not done. Like, why, why was that? It sounded like you were supposed to keep going. Uh, Honestly, I don't know. I think that might have just been... Um, I think it just might have got cut off in the process of uh, Rayvon uploading. Oh, okay. So that song was supposed to be longer? Or are you, like, it was longer for sure? Uh, I don't really remember. So I'm, I'm going to say that it, it couldn't have been that much longer. Because I would have said something if he would have cut off a whole, like, couple lines. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
the reason why I asked is because Chris be like kid do that a lot. And like he was like rap and then the song cut off, but he'll do it on purpose and I'm like, bro, this song was two minutes. That's dope. Stop. That's dope. Man, I I fuck with it, but I hate it. When the song is good, it's just like, bro, you couldn't keep yeah. going, man. It's just like that Kendrick and uh, Cole song when it cut off at the end. And I'm just mm-hmm. like, whatever they was finna say, I wish they would have kept going, man. But it made people want more. So I'm Yeah, expecting. facts. What age did you start rapping? Uh, I started rapping at 18. 18? Yeah. Like when I was a senior. I'd say 17. I was 17. You sound like you've been rapping since at least seven. Like, because, like, it's just so good. It sounds like you actually practiced this shit. Yeah, no, it was it was a surprise to a lot of people because I never really showed any, like, musical interest, you know, as a kid. You know, I always play sports. So, like, did you rap to your... Did you know you could rap before 18 and you just didn't do it? Or you just didn't no, know it, your damn self? It wasn't that, for real. Um, Because my, my boy said he's been rapping since we was, like... 12, 13, you know, yeah. and so it was just some one of those days I was like, damn, I might be able to do this, you know. Yeah, that's fire. You ever thought about making like a sequel or a trilogy to any of your songs? Yeah, um, it's all about, uh, I feel like marketing at that point, you know, what what I want to do as, as like a specific trilogy. I, I know like- one, uh, a local artist that I, I'm sorry for uh, cutting you off, but um, a local artist that I was talking to was telling telling me about he's doing a trilogy that's kind of like soprano based. You see what I'm saying? So like soprano themed, which I think is dope. Yeah, it is. So I, it's all about it's all about finding finding what fits me. You know, my story. I feel like rapping for for what is it? Rapping for almost four minutes or rapping for? Rapping for like, yeah, rapping, yeah, for, rapping like four for I feel like that could be like rapping for all, uh, five minutes or rapping for three minutes. Like, I feel like you can carry that on forever because you just, it didn't have no hook. It was just straight rap. That's some shit to think about. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm glad fire. you told me that. <laughs> Bro, that would be fire. It's almost like how Cole, not to keep bringing him up, but like, you just really give me that Cole vibe. But how Cole got the Lion King thing. Uh, how he got like Simba and I feel like you can yeah. do that with rapping for like four minutes that surprised me because you know when he when he came out I didn't expect him to you know I, obviously nobody did but right. I was like that was clever yeah it well, was I fuck with it you don't um <laughs> you don't disrespect women in your music like which it don't surprise me but in actuality, I feel like as people, we all know there's women and then we got hoes and bitches, but you don't like rap about that. Like, you don't, like, you don't rap about women at all to my knowledge, but like, you don't yeah. say like bitches and hoes because we all know that there is a such thing as those type of women. And it's just, uh-huh. I didn't expect you to, but I always want to know why. Um, I ain't gonna lie. I just don't, I, I don't need my mom getting in my, I don't, I don't need my mom. I respect Give that. me no bad feedback. <laughs> I respect that a lot, bro. Like, a lot. You, uh... You rapped about never marrying broke. Was that like, you not wanting to get married while you're broke or never marrying a broke woman or both? Um... Honestly, that's some shit to think about. But, like, what I was actually just saying is that I, I wouldn't get married broke. But... I feel like I would, because at, at the point where you want to marry someone, it really doesn't, it shouldn't matter if you're, you know, if you're rich or poor. I feel the same way, bro. I hear a lot of women say, uh, I can't be with nobody broke. And I understand, because we don't want to be homeless. But at the end of the day, if it's just all about money, like, do you really even care about me? So right. I definitely get what you're saying. You, you ever, um, since you started rapping, have you ever gotten women attention just off the fact that you're a rapper? Uh, yeah. So you didn't have yeah. a movie experience already? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not as crazy as probably like, you know, like, 
like Rio. You know what I mean? He's he's probably getting he's probably getting pussy thrown at him type shit. But um, it's definitely it's definitely kind of weird. <laughs> weird. Yeah. That's crazy. I would have never like looked at the because it's like you know it's like that. You know, if you link up with someone based off the fact that you know that was like the main part of the conversation, then it's like, yeah, I definitely get when you, when you really think about it. That's true because I've had women literally like me because, like, I'm known around Flint for you two, not because I'm right, not, not because of me, but oh, yeah, you the guy that everybody find out, like, you know, exactly. What kind of, like, you know, what, what kind of foods you like and all shit like that. She bro. just. She, she likes the videos. Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. I never really thought about it like that. Yeah, it's like they don't, they just care about what they see and what they don't see and not what they don't Facts. see. Facts. So, um, you mix, right? Yeah. You ever, like, thought about rapping about it? Because I know Logic, like, takes pride on being mixed in his music. Uh, honestly, n- not right now. Um, that's not. That's not something that I stay away from, but it's it's just really not important to me. Yeah. I feel you because I didn't know Cole was mixed until I think an interview or somebody said it. Because to me, he just... You thought, you thought he was just black, light-skinned dude? Yeah. Like, and the only reason why I asked you is because like, your facial hair and your hair is a different color. But like... Right. I thought Logic was 100% white. I ain't even gonna lie. I had no idea he had a black father. Because he don't look... Any kind of black to me, and, and then it's when I heard hair, that, that's the yeah, body. It's, he's got thin hair, so that's yeah. that's, that's what that's what it gets. Uh, my last question: You ever thought about battling, or like just doing like a competitive, like how Kendrick did on uh uh what's the name of that song with Big Sean and Control? Control, yeah, control. with Big Sean yeah. and uh, what's the other dude's name? J Electronica. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever thought about yeah. doing some shit like that? Um, or just like wanting to go against somebody and creativity? In that sense, in that sense, yeah. Um, bringing names up in particular, I ain't. I yeah, ain't, I, I ain't wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't um, even. But I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not. Uh, I'm not scared to step into that realm. You don't really but strike me as a scared person in that in that in that way. I feel like you you seem like the type of person who would just have it ready for whoever. Yeah, I uh, my my boy he he's he, he's into that shit. He's into the battle rap a lot, and it gets real personal. <laughs> Man, you know what I mean. Sometimes too it's personal. real personal. Yeah. If you could but, battle somebody, who would you battle? Whether they're like already on or not. Uh, I don't know. I think Honestly, you and Joe Budden would be fire. Yeah. Joe Budden is so underrated to me. Joe Budden is that dude. Especially freestyling. Yeah. When he dissed Drake on five songs and Drake didn't respond, I was like, this dude is the GOAT because Drake usually responds to everybody. Yeah. And he didn't respond. Nah. But yeah, man, that that was all my questions, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> I appreciate this, man. Bro. I've been wanting to interview you. Since, like, the moment you asked, I was like, finally, nigga. So, I, when I seen you was doing them, I was like, that. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, when I listen to your shit, it, it's, it's a different type of feeling than, I, than just what we usually see in the city. And I'm like, finally, somebody with something different that I could talk to right about real shit versus, you know, just the regular street shit. So mm-hmm. I couldn't wait to do this interview, man. And when you drop another project, I can listen to it, and then we can we can do another one. Facts, yeah, that shit is it's it's in it's in the works right now. Man, you got anything else you want to say before I cut the camera off? Um, tap into that cheers, man. I really uh. I really made. I really put that out because I'm, I'm happy for everybody in this city. Yeah. You feel me? I'm happy for the light that we got on us right now. Yeah. You know, whether it be in a good or a bad way, it's, it's beneficial for everybody. It really is. And I was telling somebody, if we all got on, we could help the city. 
I'm like, we could rebuild it. If, if yeah, we don't I believe I, I I really believe Flint is the next Compton. Yeah, that's that's a great way to put it. Cause I was telling people we might be like the next Chicago. Cause I remember when Chief Keep came out, everybody came at him. Even his enemies got on. Like people that didn't even right. like Chief Keep benefited from his success. Yeah, yeah, man. But I appreciate this interview, man. I can't wait to we do another one. Facts, man. I I appreciate you having me, bro. Man, you already know, man.